These are not the regular faces of the Nigerian Army and Nigerian Air Force personnel. These are gallant officers and men of Joint Tax Force Northeast Operation Hadinkai, Theater of War. But today is not a day for war. It is a day for merrymaking. It is Eid al Fitri, a significant festival in the Islamic calendar, which marks the end of the month of Ramadan. This gathering, the Chief of Amish Staff, Lieutenant General Farouk Yaya, and the Chief of Air Staff, Air Mashar Oladayo Amao, every represented. It is to appreciate the troop successes recorded in fighting against insurgency in the Northeast and acknowledge the supreme sacrifice made by their colleagues to keep the region safe. May I affirm that the Nigerian Army had in no small measure contributed in tackling the merits of security challenges facing our dear nation. The Nigerian Army has so far lived up to expectation and will continue to remain focused in addressing these challenges. And I want to thank and appreciate you all, officers and soldiers of the Nigerian Army, personnel of the other sister services, security agencies, and stakeholders for this great achievement. Let me also specially thank and appreciate the past professional conduct of our troops in the just concluded 2023 general elections and even in the supplementary elections concluded a few days ago. Your conduct throughout the period was adjusted as highly professional across the nation. As we have successfully concluded Operation Safe Conduct for the elections, I want to charge you all to re-strategize and focus now fully on the ongoing operations in the theater and across other theaters in the country. We must now redouble our effort against the remnant terrorists and criminals to destroy them and deal with all other forms of criminality in the country. From headquarters, Nigerian Air Force, the sustained momentum by our own forces in ensuring that these criminals are brought to their knees. And no wonder the theater commander said that they keep on surrendering by the day. Indeed, it is because of the effort of each and every one of you that are seated here and some of our colleagues who are at this point in time manning the various locations that we occupy. I believe that you deserve the commendation of everyone, of every Nigerian for the sacrifices that you people are making to ensure that the average Nigerian sleeps with his eyes closed. Having served here myself, I know the kind of sacrifice that you people are putting in. Day in, day out, there is never a day that passes that you are not required for one thing or the other to carry out an assignment. I therefore urge you all to ensure that these efforts that you have continued to sustain in ensuring that peace and normalcy is restored to the entire Northeast of our country, and indeed by extension to Nigeria, is is reasonably maintained with the highest morale. The occasion also affords particularly both Goans and Khans the opportunity to appreciate huge sacrifices by troops and restoring peace and normalcy to the entire Northeast region. Sir, we are sincerely thankful for your very visible concern for troops' welfare in Operation Hadden Kai. It has indeed spurred us to strive for more success. We are indebted to your many visits to the theater, which have come with definite benefits to the theater in terms of heightened troops morale, equipment support, and provision of strategic guidance for operational activities. I would humbly commence my vote of thanks this afternoon with a postulation that says, appreciation can make a day, even change a life. Your willingness to put it into words is all that is necessary. Being my first official remarks as General Officer Commanding 7th Division Nigerian Army, I wish 
to humbly put my appreciations into words. First, my gratitude goes to the Almighty, whose benevolence has seen us through the Ramadan period and to witness this special day. Secondly, I wish to most humbly appreciate the Chief of Army Staff for finding me worthy of my present appointment. In his congratulatory message, the special guest of honor, Professor Babangana Zulum, ably represented, thanks the service chiefs for organizing the luncheons for troops. The Chief of Army Staff is celebrating such auspicious occasions with the troops. This would us it needs to emphasis to say that this is certainly a very big moral booster to the troops who are in the service of their fatherland. Our troops deserve nothing less. I would like to commend the Chief of Army Staff for gracing this occasion personally, and we shall assure him that we shall continue to support the military in your effort to bring in peace to this region. We also commend our troops and indeed all the other security agencies for your gallant contributions in bringing peace to this region. Improving the hospital here on, all across the land, and the other welfare scheme like I mentioned that are coming on board are also coming. I'm at State County, where I'm not resting on ours. I mentioned other ones that are already approved, that are already on the ground. I mentioned lost in the nation, and they are having special insurance scheme, which is additional to. Uh, the group life assurance that we need to have from the defense helicopters. Our own is paid completely, so we don't have issues that uh, the yeah, issue may be something was not paid. Ours is paid, and uh, I mentioned include housing and all that. To have luncheon with our gallant troops in the front line, uh, this tradition has come to stay, and now uh, it's one of our ways of appreciating. Uh, those in the front line all across not only here this one here symbolizes for all our troops in all our other operations including operation hadenkai including operation wild stroke operation wild punch including operation udoka and all of them but now we cannot be able at some time so we chose here the other time we from here we went to hadenkai in sokoto we still find time to visit the troops those in the front line are putting in their best and the results are showing. So we cannot but come to appreciate and thank them all and thank all those also who support us. The combined we Salah Luncheon avails the, the service other. chiefs the opportunity to commemorate and celebrate the spirits of the Idi Free Trail with troops of Operation Harding Kai, especially the Muslim faithfuls. My name is Lance Copra, line is Raphael. Uh, I must say uh, with the all of my heart, I'm so excited to see my coas and physically meet him physically, and and the speech he made really really boosts my morale today. And I know that after this, we are still going to face the primary assignment we came here for. I'm from one one special forces battalion, I've been here for um, for a month and some days now. Um, I appreciate God for giving us another privilege to be alive, to see a day like this, Salah. And we sincerely want to thank the Chief of Army staff for coming to celebrate with us with the um, patients. We thank him for his hospitality. We thank Nigerians for their prayers. I will thank our parents too for their prayers. I will thank every our well-wishers for wishing us well too. And we pray that more of this will come but not in our pain like this, but to those who are celebrating it at home. I'm fine. not feeling fine, but I appreciate God that my, my life. Make sure that these um, terrorists are brought to book and brought to their knees, just like uh, the Chief of Army staff said earlier on. They will be brought to book and brought to their knees. When they carry the kuboko, they say, yes, you're very much welcome. You want to marry Aisha? I say, yes, and I say, Aisha, I got a question to come now. And I'm going to marry Aisha. They say, no problem. Collect the strokes. I said, no problem. When I stayed like this, they say, you know the rules. I said, I know the rules. One piap, wululu. I said, no problem. When they gave me one, wah! It left the position where they flogged me. I went to my mendula. And I said, wululu, wululu, wululu. 
Yes, I looked at Aisha, she looked at me, I said, I love you, she loved me. When I gave her the second one, what? I said, mm. Online me a song. Post my TV.